Whether it's the fire service or any other professional organization, you need to be competent and skilled. And if you want to fly a drone professionally and effectively, it requires a lot of hand-eye coordination and, and fine motor skills. And the only way to practice that is training. Today we're, we're trying to train uh, UAS pilots, drone pilots, who are beginners. But we're trying to get them to understand what are the basic skills required to be a UAS pilot, regardless of the mission. The ones that they're concentrating on are the five basic skills that all UAS pilots should have. You know, what you see behind me are a series of five-gallon buckets, essentially, that guide you as the pilot toward specific locations in space. Get there, stay there, move to the next one. This is all essentially the calisthenics. These give you the yardstick, but it's really up to the police agencies or the agencies using these to determine, well, where are you gonna put that threshold on that yardstick for what's proficient? We try to make the tests as simple as possible for someone to run, but also uh, cheap to build so that everybody, every first responder can go out and buy the materials and build it cheaply and be able to set it up wherever they need it. So I think the tests are, are really, really good because it, it gives you a specific number. It it's, um, qualifies the aircraft, the pilot, everything. It gives you an actual number that you can go back and look to. You're saying, I ran through the same test as I did on these other aircraft and I was able to fly it 15% faster. This is a standard for excellence on how good you are and it, and it can be done anywhere in the country and it can be built in, in several hours and the sky's the limit with how far you want to take it.